You know where it's coming from. No, I don't. Look, Frankie, you know that I'm gay, and all of a sudden it seems to be making you really nervous or something. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. And I want to know if it's because you think I'm going to hit on you or something. Whoa, Look, I... Frankie, if that's the reason that you're all scared all of a sudden, I just want you to know I would never force anything on you, okay? Oh. Not anything, ever. Yeah. And if but... you don't want me to stay here tonight, that's fine. I will find somewhere else to stay. Okay, Frankie, I'm, I'm backing off. But that's not what I want. So what do you want? I want to do what we have been doing. Taking it easy. Hanging out. Nothing. You think this is nothing? I mean, Frankie, I... This is not nothing what we've been doing to me. Frankie? Okay. I don't really know what to do with all of this, all right? With all of what? I just didn't expect this. Frankie, why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out, Bianca. I just didn't expect this. What's this? Frankie, what are you trying to say? This is Cortland? Oh, you're not serious. Are you Mary Frances Stone? Depends. Oh, you are, aren't you? And you're just like your her. knickers, Vanessa. Oh. Just chill out, would you? You are my, my sister's child, right? Oh, yeah, you are my mom's sister. No doubt about that. What are you doing here? Why are you in Pine Valley of all places in the world? Yeah, that's something I'd like to know, too, actually. Why, Opal? Come on, what difference does it make? Difference? Well, it makes a difference between you sleeping here in my home or on a bench at the bus depot. That's the difference. Now, come on, I want to know. What are you up to? Why have you kept this from me and from everybody else in town? Hating it is to have my head ripped off by Erica Kane in public. Yeah, actually, I do. Oh, really? What were you thinking? When exactly? When you were came came here, we were not notifying me, taking up with 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 Erica Kane's daughter of all people. Excuse me. Well, I just mean, we're not close. Our families don't don't mingle. All right, I want you to get on the phone immediately and call your mother. Oh, and tell her how excited you were to see me? No, I want you to get her, get, have you get you a plane ticket, get you home where you belong. I don't have a home. Frankie is staying here in Pine Valley. Oh, no. No, she is not. All right, I will buy the ticket. I don't care. You will buy the ticket. Well, that'll be the day. Oh, Opal, do you mind? Yes, I do mind, actually. <laughs> Vanessa, listen. I don't want your money, and I don't want your plane ticket. I am not leaving. Basically, well, I don't want anything from you, which is why I didn't call you in the first place. You cannot stay here. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> Newsflash, I am not going anywhere, and this is my room, and well, I don't ever remember inviting you, so why don't you go? Oh. Yeah, why don't you go? I don't want you in my house. It's making the foundation crack. What, are you kicking me out? It's how we do it nice where I come from. Don't make me do it the junkyard dog way, okie dokie. <laughs> She's the one you want out. Kick her out. What annoyance at a time, Vanessa. And I, you just better skedaddle, because I'm sure Palmer is just pacing the floorboards, worried, sick of it. She's not. All right, start talking. Look, Opal, I didn't realize I was supposed to give my family history. Do you know who she is? Yeah, well, obviously. Yeah, look, you just park your smart mouth for a little minute here, Missy. Now, I can understand and I can forgive a whole host of things. But that sorry excuse for a female that just stormed out of here is the biggest thorn of all the thorns in my side, all right? Now, you knew who she's married to and who I am. But you just forgot to mention that before you let Bianca talk me into giving you a job and a place to stay. Heck, you even let me defend you to Erica, my best friend. 
So is that it? You want me to go? No, thank you. No. Thank you. It's all right. Pack my stuff tonight if that's what you want, Opal. Well, I'm not going to toss your skinny little behind out onto the street in the middle of the night. But tomorrow morning, you vamoose and find yourself another place to stay, okay? All right. I'm sorry about this, Bianca. It didn't have to be this way. Fabulous. I'm sorry, Frankie. Once again, my life is a mess, and now you're in the middle of it. Don't worry about me. Look, we're gonna find you another place to stay tomorrow, okay? No, we are not. Okay, Bianca, because I'm out of here. What, you mean you're out of town? It doesn't look like anyone else wants me around. Okay, there's you. I'm sorry, but, you know, Bianca, maybe this isn't the best idea. So that's it. You just, you just cut and run. Things get tough, you get scared, and, and you, you leave? Bianca, you hurt them. Come on, it's not like anyone's greeting me on the welcome wagon. You're so full of it. Full of what? Uh, Frankie, you're gonna use Opal and Vanessa as the perfect excuse to leave town when the real reason you're leaving is me. Bianca. No! I asked you some tough questions tonight, and clearly you don't want to answer them for some reason, and that's why you're leaving. Bianca, you are making this so much harder than it has to be. Do you have any idea how hard this is for me? Yeah, actually, I do. No, you don't, Frankie. This is like my usual deja vu. I like someone. They like me. Things are going great. And then all of a sudden, some kind of alarm goes off in the other person. And, and it's like a neon sign flashing above their head. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. I am not gay. And then they leave. Can you please not put words into my mouth and thoughts in my head? No, I'm, I'm, I'm through. I'm sick of this. Turn your alarm off, okay? Leave town. Stay. Do whatever the hell you want. I, I, I'm done. What are you saying? I'm saying that for one time in my life, I'm the one pulling back first. Okay, Frankie? So have a nice life. Bianca? I'm not seeing Frankie anymore. Go right ahead and um, breathe that sigh of relief. Bianca. You don't have to say it, Mom. I know. Another bad move relationship headed up at the pass, right? Look, honey, I know that um, you, you don't want to hear this right now, but truly, if you had gotten involved with that girl, it would have been just, it would have been so wrong. Can I ask you a question, Mom? Of course you can. When is it going to be right for me? In your mind, according to you, I would really like to know. Bianca, please when don't When is smart. it going to be okay for me to have a girlfriend? You know, a relationship like, like you straight people have. Oh, Bianca, don't. When is it going to be with okay me. with you for me to have sex? Huh, Mom? It's okay. That's okay. I got it already. It will never be okay with you for me to have a relationship, a sexual relationship with a woman. Bianca, look, honey, you, you're still a child. Oh, like hell. Oh, come on, don't talk like that. Do you ever think what it's going to be like for me when I do meet someone? Someone special, someone to love, spend my life with, a partner. But you have your whole life ahead of to you. To meet a that. woman? No, you mean... I have my whole life ahead of me to get over this gay thing and meet a man, right? Guess what, Mom? It's not happening. And you know what the really sad part about that is? Is that you will never, ever be able to accept that. You know, Bianca, <clears throat> I really think that we should talk about this some other time. Why not now? It's, it's just not the right time. When is the right time? When...